on a more technical and financial level, it does work. And I'm very much aware of all the discussions internationally and also nationally on technology, but absolutely cellular technology latency has never been an issue. And I think that if you have further questions on that, Mena will be sure to uh, answer those um, uh, at the end of uh, this uh, webinar. Um, is it easy? No, it's not easy. You need to cooperate with each other. You need to be very strict in requirements and in agreements. Um, and, and quality is key also in the way that you come up with the functional uh, uh, specs. It has proven to be very cost effective in the Netherlands from a more in, from an investment standpoint. Um, we have been able to manage privacy, security and liability um, in a very effective way. And it's not just at one point uh, in the beginning of a process uh, coming up with the requirements, the design. It is also that we um, are sure that it is being performed over the duration of this uh, operation. We think it is a very worthwhile to do this in a public private cooperation because we do need each other, uh, not just the technological knowledge and the commercial deployment uh, capabilities, uh, but of course also um, the way that we look at society from a, a government standpoint and the values that we want to uh, assure that are being uh, uh, upheld and are in place. Um, and of course, international standards by default. Uh, if there is a standard, we'll use it um, and we can expand on that, um, but it needs to be fit for purpose. And we don't want to devise all sort of new stuff uh, with all the costs and all the hassles and the lack of expandability. And I think that um, with Monarch deploying already in other countries and also in the US from April, that proves our point on that part. Um, the, the, not only the scale, but also the, 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 the time that we uh, have spent deploying this, it has been proven very worth our while. Um, if consumers need to come up with all sorts of new devices and extra costs, um, it will be a very slow operation. So the adoption rate has uh, been surprising how quick that went. Um, it also plays into existing and proven business models. Uh, I will go into uh, the way that we're going to expand on, on this um, to vehicles, but also in, in an urban environment. And it didn't, um, uh, we didn't need to go into a very big organizational change on the public side, which is also very much a bonus. Um, and I already said something about uh, how road users behave. So that's very beneficial when it comes to sustainability and safety on roads. <clears throat> 